A shabby chic foodie bar moves into a sketchy neighborhood. Then a hip little attractive cafe puts a new twist on Urban Eats pops up. A coffee shop alternative to Starbucks moves in. The streets become swarming with skinny jean wearing hipsters seeking out the new cafe starring an up and coming chef peddling his organic farm to table culinary explosions. All of a sudden, the neighborhood is hot and with attractive housing prices. This is gentrification and it's known as the liberator of low income areas in otherwise unaffordable but desirable cities throughout the nation. Now, buyers aren't gonna be able to spot exactly which areas are about to become in vogue with great deals and becoming highly desirable or unaffordable even within a decade. Not unless they have the superpower of seeing the future, even the best realtors can get it wrong. But if you keep your pulse on what's happening from the local planning departments, commercial rentals, zoning ordinances, etc., you have pretty good odds at getting it right. But it takes work. As Realtor.com refers to this occurrence, it's the real estate game of roulette. It can be a pretty exciting opportunity for your buyers with huge profits in the future, but the odds are definitely high. If you look back at Folsom 30 years ago, you can see how gentrification had a part in changing this community. Now it's a matter of finding the next big thing in our local area. Buyers that are looking for the great deal and are prepared to wait for the payout, the next neighborhood to gentrify could be the perfect investment. Now for minding your own business. Hey, lately I've had realtors ask my opinion about hiring an assistant. I think it's a great idea. The first question though is what tasks they can help with and can those tasks be done by a virtual assistant? Now I've used virtual assistants for several years and currently have had one working with us doing our editing for almost two years. He's working on this video right now. So here's my five steps to hiring a great virtual assistant. Number one, identify the tasks that you want to outsource. Number two, select your outsourcing service and create your posting. Number three, interview candidates and hire. Go for it. Number four, have your systems in place and give assignments. And number five, require a daily status by email and give great feedback to them. That way they can grow and succeed. Don't be afraid to tell them what they did wrong, but also don't be afraid to tell them what they did right and give them a lot of praise. You know, I have a presentation on why hire a virtual assistant and the how-tos. If you'd like a copy, email us or call us and we'd be glad to send it to you. Well, that's it for another edition of the Real Estate Insider Weekly. We're always here to help. Let us know if we can answer any of your mortgage uh, questions or finance questions. We'd love to help your clients. Have a great week.